this will not zip. Oh, there we go. Morning guys, so I'm coming to you from Newport Beach, California. I just graduated and now I'm going on vacation. Yesterday, I was up all night for Safe and Sober, which if anybody doesn't know what Safe and Sober is, it's like after graduation you go to this all-nighter basically and they pay you to be there so you're going to be sober after graduation. It's really cool. But I feel like I just overexerted myself. I'll also give like a little room tour at some point. But there's like a bunch of people. A bunch of my family all around the rooms right now. And I just don't want to deal with that. But this is my room. Um, Today we are going to Costco. Which is like, oh, Costco is literally my life. I love Costco. Oh my god. I will definitely give a Costco haul. And after Costco, I want to get my nails done. Because this shit is really bad it's like it's not it's not the best and um after that I think I'm just gonna lounge by the pool and maybe get a workout in if I'm feeling up to it I don't want to overexert my body I think I'm just gonna like snack on a bag of oranges but we'll just see what happens and I'll see you guys maybe at Costco maybe when I get back here Okay, so it's been a while. Um, we went to Costco and we got the groceries and I'll do a grocery haul when we get back to the room. Uh, my family eats like a lot different than I do, so I'll do kind of a grocery haul but I'm eating and the things that like I got from Costco. And then I got my nails done and I got these, I don't know, they're kind of weird shaped. I got like a dip nail for the first time. They're kind of too round for my liking but... Whatever, I like the yellow, so, um, yeah, and I'm starving right now, and I just picked up some spicy, here, I'll show you, the spicy tuna roll with brown rice and quinoa, I thought that was cool, I haven't had, um, ever quinoa in a roll, and I already had one, uh, but, yeah, so, the, I'm gonna eat that right now, go back to the room, probably do a grocery haul, catch up with you guys later. Oh, these sunglasses, by the way, are my freaking life right now i love being a bug Ooh. so i just got home and um everything is actually already unpacked that we got from costco because i was getting my nails done and they went home before me so i'm gonna do like a weird little haul where i'll show you things like piece by piece because like things are already packed and i'm just like really lazy and don't want to get it all out but um yeah i'll show you everything that i got so here we go okay so i got beef jerky for like cool size. I got this golden turmeric cereal that looks really good um yeah it has like really good ingredients and yeah. rx bars because rx bars are my freaking life I love these things this is the chocolate sea salt and peanut butter chocolate um, nut butter, nutso, nut, nutso butter. I literally can just like eat this out of the freaking jar. And my all time crack, grain free granola. It's so good. It literally, it's paleo. It has honey as a sweetener and it's just like literally just nuts. Like that's all that's in it. I also got these two ice creams this salted caramel cashew ice cream and this coconut milk mint chip ice cream. These are like, ugh, they're so freaking good and I love them and bless. And here I got grapes, blueberries, strawberries, a rotisserie chicken, this chunky guacamole, almond milk, carrots, green beans, and bell peppers. And these yogurts, I love these. I eat these for breakfast all the time. They're really good. It's the Forager brand. Sorry if that was really random and like confusing, but it was all like put away and mixed with other of my family's stuff. 
But yeah, that's um, a lot of like my staple foods. And it's super easy to eat healthy on the go, as you can see. And a lot of that stuff, it wasn't even that expensive. So um, probably because it was from Costco, but yeah. Right now, I'm just gonna make some iced coffee. And then I'm gonna go to the pool. I just changed into my bathing suit. Um, I'll show you guys what I'm wearing. It's just, um, yeah, I'll show you guys in the mirror. Zaffle and the bottoms are from O'Neal. And I'm having a dilemma right now because the gym is right next to the pool and I was thinking about like packing gym clothes so I wouldn't have to come back to our villa before going to the gym after the pool. And like you know when you slowly start talking yourself out of going to the gym like throughout the day? I feel like that's what I'm kind of doing right now. And um, I don't know, it got me to thinking that I feel like a lot of people when they're on vacation, use it as an excuse to fall off the wagon, eat like crap, and don't work out. And for some people, that's completely fine. That totally works. And then they go back to their regular life and like they're sane because they had their all their cheat meals, they didn't work out, and they're ready to go back to the grind. And then there's the other spectrum, which is the people who, which was me, it's the people who feel like if they don't get in a workout that day, even on vacation, that it's all ruined, they can't eat as much, like they get stressed out if they know they're not gonna be able to work out or stressed out if they think they might not be able to fit it in. And that's such an unhealthy mindset. Like today, if I don't go to the gym, what's the worst that could happen? Like what's the worst thing that could happen to me? Literally, literally nothing. Like nothing, could, like maybe I'll be like, I won't sweat. That's that's probably the worst that could happen to me. It's not about that anymore, but it was. And that's why sometimes I have to like catch myself. I'm like, am I stressing too much about not going to the gym or am I not going to hang out with my family at a certain time because I need to go to the gym? And the answer now is no. And if I don't get the gym in, then that's completely fine. So I'm just gonna leave my gym stuff down here and if I come back and feel like going, then I'm going to go. And if I don't, then I'm not going to. Because that's balance and that's a healthy mindset. And, um, yeah, I understand also, like, people are competing in competitions. And they, like, have to go to the gym. Well, they don't have to, but they really, like, choose to. It's for their goals. So that's a completely different situation. I'm just talking about, like, having a healthy mindset towards going to the gym and towards working out. And, um... Yeah, I don't know. I feel like all my rants are just so confusing because my brain is always cluttered. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to go to the pool right now. If I go to the gym, I go to the gym. If I don't, I don't. And I'm not stressed out about it. And that makes me super happy. You shouldn't stress out about things that are so trivial and so little in life. And you should just enjoy every moment and just freaking go with the flow and have fun and be just chill just chill out just chill okay i'm gonna go now <laughs> okay i'm back and i literally have not left yet i made some iced coffee and i realized that i never gave you a villa tour so i'm just gonna do that super fast right now walk in right here and we have some laundry and this is the kitchen and then we go over here and this is my room I'm sleeping here, the bathroom, toothbrush, all that fun stuff, my little drawer of clothes that I can't open, then we have like a dining room area and a living room area, and this is our patio, super pretty. We get a view of the wonderful ocean. It's my stepdad. <laughs> this is um, my mom's and stepdad's room. It's like gorgeous. It's like a suite. And this a wonderful tub. Me. And this freaking amazing shower. Like this shower. Let, let's just take a second. Look at this shower. This shower is like the size of like a dorm room. Blessed, blessed. Okay. And basically that is it. And I'm gonna go because I really wanna go to the pool before the sun goes down because that's what it's looking like. Hey guys, so it's been a while. I actually, I think 
yeah, I did film my dinner. It was really good. We had like barbecue steak and um, like a bunch of veggies and stuff. And uh, yeah, I decided not to go to the gym because I don't know. I just, if I didn't want to, I wasn't feeling it. I'll probably go tomorrow morning though. Um, I'm just having this really, really amazing, you can't really see it, but it's like a homemade uh, ice cream cake and my mom made it. It has gluten-free Oreos on the bottom, vanilla gluten-free Oreos topped with that um, caramel ice cream, that coconut, coconut milk caramel ice cream and I just put strawberries in it and it's freaking, it's so good and I'm just sitting outside enjoying this amazing view. And then I'm probably just going to read, edit, and go to bed. And I hope you guys have a wonderful evening, morning, or afternoon. And yeah, see you guys in the next video.